Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about Funblocks AI Flow, AI Man Mapping Made Simple. Now, I have a video regarding AI Mind, so please check it out. It's basically a chart creation AI. It's pretty awesome, but for this video, we're going to compare it with this one. So, let's check on the pricing before we get started. Right here, these are going to be the prices. It supports GPT-4, Claude, Gemini 1.5 Pro. Anyway, we have the monthly... And then the annually, of course, which is saving you 17%. But for this one, we're going to utilize the free trial option. So welcome back to the video. This is basically the Canva. So you can choose here if you want it to be a new flow or Funblocks AI flow right there. This is basically how it looks like. And then you can choose which one you want for the advanced model or the standard model. For the advanced one, this is going to be the paid subscription. And if you have a large scale model API key, Please add it here. Choose the language, you can choose it right there. Undo and redo option, save this right here. Export as an image, share it of course. And then you can install Funblox A extension for your own choosing. You can log out on this option for the settings is gonna be here. This is basically my account. And then you can upgrade your AI, whichever you see fit. More settings here right here, and so much more. On the left side guys you have a make a request basically make a request is basically this one right here as you can see right there if i remove this one it reads make a request or type your requirements it's basically an ai prompt wherein if you type something there it will branch out to this one right here pretty awesome right left side also you have asked a question basically this is going to be a chat gpt line you can ask anything here for example, this one right there, if you want to ask something, just simply type it there. Switch AI mode is going to be this one. You can do something, break down topics, brainstorm, generate to-do list, search the web, add the link, or convert to a sticky note. Basically, that's how it works. Same drill with this one. You can change everything here. It does not just mean that this is going to be an AI box. You can ask it for breakdown topics up to sticky note. Now, this one right here is basically brainstorm. Um, breakdown is going to be here. So, as you can see, everything on the left side can be found on this drop down icon. I think this is a new feature, by the way. And then shift scroll is going to be the pan horizontal right there. Everything you do has a preview text on the lower left side. This is going to be it. And settings is going to be right there. Another access tool. Zoom in and zoom out will be right there. You can lock. And then automatic node arrangement is going to be here. Anyway, let's try this one. I'm going to create a man flow here. I'm going to type something very quickly. So this is going to be my prompt. Simply click on shift enter or click enter right there. And as you can see real time, AI is writing this one right there. It will ask you for to provide more uh, information to tailor made your audiences. I'm going to go for foodies with this one because I'm going for restaurant. Because in type, I'm going to go for Mediterranean. And budget, I'm gonna go for, of course, about $40. To do list, mind map, or text, I'm gonna go for mind map. And the options right there are gonna be the boards. You can color or basically click on confirm now. And with that being said, it's currently generating. So, welcome back to the video. Now, I just wanna highlight how amazing this is. That took roughly 5 seconds to 10 seconds actually to make everything here. Now guys, take note, I did not type anything here. I did not even spend time here. I only type in the code, generate a list of innovative food ideas for a restaurant idea startup in 2024. We have product innovation right there. We have target audiences. And then the foodies of Mediterranean cuisine about $40 are the only tailor-made options we have. Other than that, we don't have so much more here. And then with each of the mind maps here, you can change the color guys for example you want it to be more purple orange green blue that will be the works here of course you can uh copy this to your to-do list reflect and improve basically or generate a new node if i click on this one right there you can choose a gemini or a mode or a model to generate your own mode here for example if i click on gpt4 there this is the new version of chat gpt4 it's currently choosing which one to work with I'm going to go with that one right there. And as you can see right here, this is what we have. And then as you can see, it's keep branching out. 
from one mind map to another. And basically that is gonna be the main topic of this one. You can explore further or basically hide it if you're satisfied with what you have. So I'm gonna click this one right there, place it right here, and of course place this one right there. For the lines, you can change them or rearrange them to your liking. That's gonna be by your own preferences. So you can now zoom in and zoom out by your own choosing. Now for the next feature I wanna share with you cause we have so much ideas, right? Now for this sample, there's three right here. I wanna group them. Now to group right there, by default you can only pan, right? But as you can see right here, if I click on shift key and drag these stones right there, I have this option. I can group them as together. Now if I move this one right here, these are now grouped all together. If I click on this one, this two right here will generate a summary based on these two nodes. I can now use this one as a summary or enable insights. If I click on enable insights right there, it will now expand to unlimited ideas, much like the one earlier. Perfectly right there. So I'm going to stop it right here. And basically, I'm satisfied with what I have here. Pretty awesome, right? By the way, guys, once it's grouped, for example, this right here, if I click on this one, I can now write an example for this one. Summarize, break down topics, generate a man map based on these two nodes, or basically a slideshow. If I click on this one, this AI will now create a multi-page slideshow based on these two nodes. How powerful is that, right? Right now it's currently being created. I can now expand it, of course. Click on next. Now again, guys, this is a slideshow. Take note, this only took less than 10 seconds. I'm really amazed about this powerful tool. Take note, this is still part of the mind map. See those lines right there? Still part of it. As you can see right here, we have the option to edit the slides, present the slides, or I can enable also insights. Now this is going to be a bit more, if you're going to ask me, scary because this is unlimited knowledge as you can see right there. So I'm going to stop it right here and save you some time. And basically zoom it out for more organization purposes. Move it right there. Move this one a bit more further right here. Now let's take the next feature right here, take a look at it, and attaching some images. So I'm going to go for choose a file right there. I think I'm going to go with this one right here. Click on confirm. Now we have it right here. Now you can now imagine what I'm going to do with it. I can enable insights. I can choose this one or ask a question. For example, ask a question, what is this? Click on answer. So basically AI is reading the image. So this is an aerial view and these are the insights. How does the design of this house, the text, contribute in the overall feeling of nature? It's like having your very own assistant inside it. I'm going to stop it right there. And then, if I click on Enable Insights right here, basically, it will give me more about this image. So the future of housing would be a topic for this one. And right now, it's creating its own mind map. If I click on this button right there, this one will create a mind map of its own based on the image we have. As you can see right here, it is a pretty awesome tool. There is the mind map based on this image. How awesome is that, right? And basically, that's it. Again, guys, we have a one month pay subscription. And as you can see right there, it's a pretty awesome feature. It's a pretty awesome AI. So please check it out and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.